Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today guys, we're gonna do a video that is way overdue. We're gonna take a look at my Mythic Legions collection. So it's actually been a year guys. I have not shown you guys my collection in a year. So the collection has definitely grown since then. So there's a lot going on here. So a wall you guys never see, but I wanna show this off real quick. We got two of the skateboards and we got the ox crew art. I think this is pretty awesome. And I'm really excited to go to Legion's Con next week to get more stickers to fill this thing up. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that recently I had a ton of boxes that I tossed out. The boxes I do keep are the Figura Obscura boxes. I do have a couple that are sealed, new in box. But I also like to keep the Legion's Con stuff. Uh, I also like to keep the Four Horsemen stuff. So we have Atheon and Phobos, and I will keep the two in the future as well. But I plan to display these at some point. Maybe when I have like floating shelves or something like that. Not entirely sure just yet, but these are a couple of the boxes that I do want to keep because I do enjoy some good packaging. And here we go, guys. I decided to turn off the lights so you guys can see how this display looks in its full effect. There's a ton of green in here because I am a big fan of nature. It also makes sense for fantasy figures to be surrounded by nature. I'm also a big fan of fish tanks. So I wanted to recreate something very similar with my displays. It's actually not 100% perfect it is a work in progress but it is something that I'm constantly tweaking and I will get there at some point this is probably why it's taking me so long to do these types of videos so anyways guys let's not waste any time let's start looking at my army and moving right on into one of my favorite displays we are starting with my orc army this is one of three so on the very back we got Kurzog he is looking crazy back there we also got a female deluxe builder we also got vorthog on the left and then we got my pop and swap orc king right in the middle holding this massive mace so this is actually from the attila two pack but i might have to pick up another one because i am keeping my orc king displayed just like this because i'm a big fan i'm actually using king bromden's crown right up here so that's what he's wearing but one of my favorite pop and swaps and if you're not following me on instagram go ahead and follow me that's where i post a lot of these things and moving on right here we got an orc legion builder female she's awesome and down here are a couple of more orcs so i got a lot of Vorthogs, I have a lot of Orc Legion builders, and I got a couple of Orcs from the Aether Blade Wave. So this is one over here as well. These torches are done by Grid Iron Studios. I think they're pretty high quality, so check them out. So right behind the Orc with the torch, we got an Orc Coliseum Builder. He is a pretty expensive figure to get nowadays. I think he's like 120 plus if you really want him. But with the chest piece of the new Aetherblade Orc, getting that one doesn't seem like that big of a deal. So here you go. Right down here we got a Goblin Deluxe Builder and we got another female Orc back here. So here we go, that is the first display a lot of the greenery is actually from Target, if you are curious about that. I usually pick up greenery on the cheap whenever I can. So these are all from like the dollar section. So I try to be thrifty when it comes to the displays because I don't want to go too crazy with it. But this is pretty packed and this is the first one. So let's go ahead and move on to the next. Okay, folks, and here we go. We got my middle display, which I am a big fan of. So obviously we got the big forest troll back there, which was actually one of my very first legions, maybe my first or second mythic legion I've ever picked up. But we got some ogre legion builders in the back. Right in the very front, we got King Noglin, who looks pretty awesome and is like a perfect height to be right in front of this troll. We also got a couple of Orc Legion builders, which I got during the reinforcement stock in stock sale. I also have Swig over here standing next to Noglin. So I think once I get Snag, I'll probably put him over here. So he's a figure that I am missing. I also got another Orc Legion builder back here. And then I got a Shaman 
over here, which was from my buddy, Retrospect Custom. So thank you, Leland, for that. Here you go, this is the middle display. Let's go ahead and move on to the next. I also wanted to point out this campfire, which is pretty awesome. I also got that from Grid Iron Studios. So I really highly recommend them if you're looking for stuff like this. Okay, and now moving on to my very last display on the very end, which is a bulk, the bulk of my army. So we got the Ogre Legion in the back. We got a good handful of Vorthog Orcs. We also have a good amount of Orc Legion Builders spread out as well. We got a female Orc Legion Builder from the War from Aetherblade. Also got another one back there. Over here is actually a custom. So this is a mix of an Orc Legion Builder scaphoid and that headpiece is actually done by Paul G Customs, which I picked up last year at Legion's Con. Right up front here are the rest of my goblins. So we got a couple of the reinforcements goblins and then we also got Thump, which I believe I picked up at Legion's Con last year. And moving right along, this is like my human display. So I don't necessarily sort or display my figures by their faction or anything. I like to do them by how similar they look together. So this one works for me. So I like to call this my mixed human display. So we got a barbarian builder over back here on a horse. We also got the Deluxe Builder over here with a female builder. We also got two of our Gladiators. So we got the Deluxe Gladiator Builder and we got Romulus. And then we got a beast back there. We got the Half Giant with the accessory pack and I believe that's the one that Nate Barch made. So pretty cool display. I actually don't pick up a lot of humans, but if I do, I will throw them in here. So here's a display that I still need to work on and I am not completely happy with it because of how packed it looks. But here is my Xylona's flock figures. So right up front we got Dubon and then we got Xenathon over here. We got a reinforcements dwarf over here, right over here we got Byrofterus. I don't know if I'm saying his name right, Byrofterus. <laughs> we got a couple of Xylernian guards. We got Lord Bardrick. We got Artemis Silvercord. She is riding Alder. And then we got Aborius with another Xylernian guard. Definitely a work in progress of something I'm gonna need to tweak a little bit. Okay, folks, and we are halfway there. We are now looking at my red army over here. So there's a lot going on, guys. So number one, I actually painted that display in the back, and that's when I decided I'm gonna give up on painting. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that to the dio makers out there. So I may pick up some dio pieces at some point. This is something I wanna go over. Okay, so this is still also a work in progress. Let me, let me add that. <laughs> <laughs> but I know it's pretty packed. I want to make sure I can organize this the best way I can. But for now, this will work. So starting off in the back, we do have an Aether. We also have a Fury Orc over here, which I picked up at a Toy Con from Philip a long time ago. I also got uh, a Furious 4. I actually grabbed a couple of those Furious 4s, in the, but this time I used the Fury Orc head for the body. All right, moving right over here is actually the Red Krampus body, but I decided to use one of the Furious Four cow heads over here. And then we got a Red Hellfire Goblin looking crazy. And then down over here, uh, actually this is a piece uh, over here. I actually picked this up from Lone Wolf Labs at Legion's Con last year. I think it was like three for like 15 or so. So you may see a couple of these scattered. Over here is an awesome Uni head sculpt. This one is done by Immortal Collections. So I picked that also up at Legion's Con last year. So definitely wanna see what they got this year. Over here, we got a mix of the Furious Four. So we got Uwit, the Orc, we got our boy Travis over here. <laughs> Lots of the Furious Four from Legion's Con last year. This one is an extra body that I had and I used the demon head from the 
head pack. Back here is the Panther, the uh, Legion's Con exclusive Panther head. We got Belphegor looking pretty crazy. But yeah, this is a pretty decent display. I feel like it is pretty packed, so uh, I do wanna be mindful of that. I don't want the weight to be crazy here, so I'm gonna have to start supporting these soon. And moving right on down, we are now here in the Silver Forest. So I got a lot of silver in this display here. Tons of Templars. So we got the Templars from the Reinforcements Wave. I actually have about five of them here. So I scattered them in this display. We also got two Silver Knights, which were another uh, one of my first figures ever. I picked this up at Big Bad Toy Store a long time ago when I was first trying out the Legions. And then we got Delphina over here, which uh, she's pretty wild. Great figure. I like Delphina. I like this display in general. Just some Templars exploring the forest. I thought this was a pretty cool little display here. And now moving to the middle, guys, is my Figura Obscura display. Or anything outside of Legion's technically. So starting on the left, we got the Headless Horseman with the horse. A great, great figure. Over here, we got the Monkey King, guys. And I really, really love this figure. I got about three, no, actually, I got four of these right now, so I gotta open my other ones, but really, really great figure. One of my favorites this year, for sure. Over here is the Red Krampus. I do have the Black Krampus, but it's still sealed. Got that from Craig Holland last year. I still gotta open that thing. And then we got Demistros back here, which is a really great, great figure. We got a good old Santa Claus. Santa is here. Christmas is right around the corner. And then the back is the latest Figura Obscura figure. We got the Mask of the Red Death. So with this display, kind of random, but I wanted to keep this batch of figures together. Let me know what you guys think. And moving right along, guys, to this very right display, we got a bunch of knights. So I really didn't know what to do with this display in particular. It was kind of tough. I had a lot of random knights that I just didn't know what to do with. Originally I had a Knights of the Round Table, but I might do that at some point. But let's start off on the right. We got Sir Owain, which is either again my first or second figure. We're gonna have to like go back in my YouTube channel and see if we can find that video. But one of my very first figures over here, Sir Owain. I always thought he was really cool having a knight. I always really liked him. And we got him riding on a Boreas, which, you know, when the All-Star 6 came around, I ordered some extra horses because mounts were hard to come around by that time. So grabbed a couple of Boreases. Back there, we got two Templar Knights. So they're just kind of walking a pathway with Sir Owain. We also got a Knight Builder. I actually gave her some extra weapons. Up in the front right here are a couple of dwarves. So we got the deluxe dwarf over here. We got King Bromden. I keep forgetting her name. Storm something, I think. Losing it, I'm losing it guys. But I always thought she was pretty awesome. And then in the back we got Magnus and we got a Hadriana. Looking over a chest which has some 3D parts in there. <laughs> All right guys, and now moving on to the very bottom shelf. We are now here, we have made it. We are looking at what I decided to just throw a bunch of skeletons, a bunch of dark knights into one display because I thought, you know, I thought they worked well together. I have a good amount of skeletons and even though I'm not really the biggest skeleton fan, you always have to have skeletons in your Legion's collection. In the back we got the Legion Skeleton Builder. I have a couple of reinforcement skeleton builders over here, which I still believe are available on Big Bad Toy Store right now for $40, which technically is like the cheapest price for Mythic Legions right now. I also have a Gorgo over here. I got a Reinforcements Black Knight, the Unknown One. I got the Unknown One in the back, sneaking up right here. I actually have a couple of them right over here as well. This headpiece right here is the Legions Con exclusive though, so that's the difference between that and this one. I'm drawing a blank on this guy's name right now, but he was in the All-Stars 6 as well. Then of course we got Sir Gerard himself. Yeah, can't forget about Tibius over here. 
Here's another section that is still a work in progress. I like to call this shelf here in particular. This display is the random magical dark side of Mythic Legions. Let's go ahead and start in the back. We got an Argamedes standing near Zazar. And we got Hagnon. Shout out to Cullen. Uh, we got, I can't remember his name either, but he was in the All-Star 6. We got a Torion over here. I always thought Torion was pretty cool. We got Borier. I always thought Borier was pretty cool too. Mine's a little loose, unfortunately. This one's actually Valak, but I did a pop and swap with this one. So I had some extra Monkey King parts. And uh, the soft goods on this one is actually for uh, Scaphoid, the Max Bird Cape. Over here, we got Krona. We got a Lady Averona back here. So over here, we got Baron Voligar too, but we have the Werewolf Head. This one is done by Paul G. Customs. Again, picked it up at Legion's Con, so I'm really excited to see what he has this year. And then back here, we got Alithia looking crazy. And moving on to the very last display, it is very not so decorated. I mean, I do have a Christmas tree right over here, but that was just temporary because I had no idea where to put these guys. So here we go, guys. We are finally looking at the Cosmic Legion. So here is my Cosmic Legions collection so far. And I got to say, this is a line that I am very surprised by. I, I was not expecting to pick up any of these kind of figures. Couldn't help myself, guys. These look way, way too cool. So let's look at the very back. We got Kragnar. He's awesome. It's a really good figure. Then we got Scourge back here, which is probably my favorite sculpt of 2023. This has to be one of the most beautiful sculpts. And uh, I can't wait till we get the Mythic Legion version. We're gonna get Erica Gore. He's a blue dragon and he's gonna have more Legion parts. This is cool though. I really like having them. And then we got Spexian Guard here. He is pretty crazy. I like him a lot. Love the bugs. And on the right, we got a Sentry, which, you know, they're pretty cool army builders. Here we got Vorga, who is insane, guys. Look at her. I did a review on Vorga on my channel if you're interested, so check it out. I did a review on most of these cosmics. But Vorga is pretty sick. She's actually a figure I did not expect to like so much, but she's cool. Look at that gun. Over here we got Ziri, who looks awesome. Reminds you of like a space cowboy thing, like a Han Solo. This is cool. Ziri is a great figure. Great soft goods. Great sculpt. Over here we got the Operative 83 PowerCon exclusive. So I gotta give a shout out to Eddie and Colin for getting these to me from PowerCon. It's good to have friends in the community, so thank you guys able to get these this year so it's awesome and then we got oleg thigar we got both of them we got the grave ring version and we got the prison break version is that what they call but that's it guys yeah that's that's the cosmics and i'm very excited for legions con because we're definitely going to be picking up more the next wave just came out and that's going to wrap it up for this video guys i am super excited for legions con of course, guys, we're also going to intern and G-Con as well. So it's going to be four epic days of Mythic Legion madness. I cannot wait. But if you guys see me at Legion's Con, be sure to say what's up. But that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, thumbs up, and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!